side, both teams all night long. What did you think of the, the way both teams kind of made it stuff for you? Yeah, it was a hard fought game. Uh, PG hit a big shot down, down the stretch right there. And that's, that's on me. You know, I got to fight through that screen and not get picked. You and Terrence both spent a lot of time guarding Paul. It seemed like both of you were effective. What what led you guys to play so well tonight? Um, Paul is tough. Paul is tough cover, man. I, I watched both the game against the Orleans and the game they played against Atlanta. You know what I mean? So uh, just trying to make it tough on us. You talk about Shea and kind of your relationship with Shea in, over the last couple months of kind of what you see out of the kid? Uh, Shea, man, gonna be a star, in my opinion. I'm probably a little biased, but uh, love being a teammate with him. And uh, it's gonna be cool to get a chance to see him grow. You know what I mean? Uh, he's one of the few guys that, you know, once he gets more minutes, he's even more productive. So going from the future situation, being here in Oklahoma, he's just gonna continue to get better. Shea said he's looking forward to playing two games in two nights in, uh, here in the Staples Center. What, what are you guys going to have to come out tomorrow? Um, uh, we got to come out and uh, be, be aggressive, be ready. Um, you know, being here for so long, it's two sort of different environments. These two, you know what I mean? Lighting is different, everything's a little different. So uh, it's cool. Uh, let this one go, be ready for tomorrow. Do you have any comments on Clippers fans' reaction today when you handle the ball? Clippers fans' reaction. What happened? I know. I ain't know. I ain't paid too much attention to it. My brother and my daddy were sitting on the floor there. They were sitting on the court. Chris, what did you think of the shot that Tinnula really got at the very end there? It looked like a, a good look from Spike. Yeah, it looked shots. like a really good look. Uh, I got to go back and look at that other one, too. I watched a lot of games. Every night I watch the game, I ain't never seen that one over time. You know what I mean? I gotta go look at that. But, um, um, I'm sure it wasn't a foul. If it's not a foul, it's not a foul. But, uh, I think Gallo got a good look. You know what I mean? I'll give him that shot any, any night and, and expect it to win. Do you ever get nostalgic coming back here? Or you know, any, just any, any old feelings or anything? Or is it just kind of business uh, as usual? When you hoop, it's, you hoop. I mean, I, obviously a lot of familiar faces, Jake P. Uh, a lot of the people that sit courtside, like I said, my brother and my dad were sitting on the floor. My wife, my mom, I mean, yeah, my wife, my mom, everybody here. My family lives here. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean, my kids in school here and all that, so always good to be back. Can you talk about the growth you've seen from Baze? Baze, uh, man, I think like 19, you know what I mean? And um, he's really like my little brother. I love him to death, you know what I mean? And to see how good he is, so young, you know, he's going to be here for a long time. You know, you just, you know, something happened in the game, and I'll be like, Baze, you got to hit now. I'll be like, man, I'm 19, you know what I mean? So uh, it's growth, and hopefully, you know, every 10 games, he keeps getting better. Chris talks a bit when you look at him and put his tender. You guys, you've like and to help restart the franchise for the game. How did you look back at your football Uh, I don't know. That's a long, 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 long story. You know what I mean? But it, it was a good time. You know what I mean? I uh, stay in contact with them guys. Um, everybody's on different paths now, but uh, it, was, it was it was a fun time. Chris, you you, you um, it's a bunch of young guys here. How have your leadership and kind of help these guys develop over the years? Um, I don't know. I try to lead by example. You know, I'm I'm the first one to tell them. You know, I give them any knowledge I got, but. I'm also not the old guy that's just here to get them, you know, help to the game. Like, I hoop, you know what I mean? So that's what I let them know first and foremost, too. So. Chris, right, right at the end of the first half, you look like you coordinated with Dennis to, to set up that three. How did those types of little interactions happen to, to get you a good look? Uh, I don't know. Just try to get an ISO and shot went down. Chris, I thought you had him out off balance most of the night, and it was a game you could have got, and it got away. What, what was the difference in the game at the end? Uh, my defense on Paul. <laughs> that was the difference. If I get through that screen, it's a tougher shot. And knowing PG, he makes big shots like that, so, you know, that's on me. And Chris, you last last one your basketball camp for the loose in Glendale last weekend. Uh, how is it uh, important for My you basketball camp, it was yeah. yesterday and the day before. A lot of great kids out there, man. Um, you know, grassroots basketball, something I'm passionate about. So continue to get them better. It's always cool. Thank you, Chris.